A staple in central Massachusetts, Hebert's Candy Mansion has been around for more than a century. The candy shop says while they try to keep things original, they also have to keep up with the times. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now with more. Brittany? Olivia, some of the decorations inside the mansion have stayed the same, but the company says big changes like packaging and the internet is something they've had to adapt to while in business. It all started out of Frederick Hebert's home in 1917. And now more than a hundred years later, the Candy Mansion has become a staple in central Massachusetts. 101 years, uh, which is pretty amazing in today's world, uh, particularly with small manufacturers. The chocolate makers moved to their permanent location off Route 20 in Shrewsbury back in the 1940s. CEO John DeLiso says the light fixtures and stained glass inside are all original. The character of the place actually is one of the things we try to preserve. A lot of our products were in, in fact developed in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and although you know, packaging may have changed a little bit. You know, our tried and true uh, formulas remain the same. The company now ships their sweet treat all across the country. DeLiso says a big part of being a successful small business has been adapting to change over the years. Keeping yourself uh, and reinventing yourself and staying current. You know, um, the way we distribute products today is not the way it was done. You know, 100 years ago, um, we didn't have the internet, we, we didn't have, you know, websites. And so we do a lot on our website now. The company says Central Massachusetts has been the perfect home. Today we had a lady whose husband hadn't had the white chocolate in about 40 or 50 years, she said, so she was bringing some home to him uh, back to Florida. So it was nice that she stopped in while she was here visiting family and bringing the tradition back home with her. You hear kids and and all the screaming and yelling and the excitement. Um, it kind of makes all of our lives, you know, a little brighter. The mansion also just opened their outdoor ice cream window for the season, and it was a popular spot on Friday. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight.